When you're in a hot bite out here in South Dakota, it doesn't stay secret very long as you can see. Hi, I'm Ted Takasaki with Midwest Outdoors and I'm here with my bud buddy Tom. Oh my God, you got something on here that's pretty big. That's, that, you know, that's why everybody's here. Look at that, nice fish. Oh, that's a, that's a jumbo perch right there, I tell you what, folks. We're here with the Skinza crew. We're gonna be out here and try to catch some of these fish that everybody knows about. So what we're fishing here is a big flat. It's about seven feet for as far as you can see. And everybody's just been wailing on fish left and right. Um, they come in, in pods. And one tactic that uh, that you got to use when you're when you're fishing a big flat like this, when there's no structure, is get a buddy and tag team the hole. If there's nothing to hold a fish in a spot or a school of fish in a spot, they're just going to keep going. So as soon as you rip a, a fish out of the hole, your buddy drops right in, and it keeps those fish engaged, and you're going to catch a lot more fish. Just like this one, look how he choked that inferno spoon just choked it it's getting dust now low light so i want to take this venom inferno glow spoon and i want to charge this up i want to make it bright so that the fish can see the bait and i'm using this new venom uv light to get the best glow out of any glow bait you need to use uv light ultraviolet and look at how it really just pops that that glow inferno spoon this one's all charged up. Let's go catch them. Oh, fish on, fish on, man. I just put that bait down in the water. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that. Whoa, baby. Now that's a yumbo right there, folks. Just charge it with the UV nightlight and put it down there. And it's dusk right now, but that's the biggest one of the day for me. Well, it's getting late right now, and we've got a lot of fish to clean. Let's go use the skins to clean these up. To get maximum efficiency and to get a lot of speed out of using your skins, it works best when you have a team. Eric here, he's gonna take the sides off, and I'm gonna take the rib bones and the skin off. So it's important to always come in at an angle. So you cut, instead of cutting through the, the scales, you're coming in underneath them. And then I split down the belly, and then you just play the perch off of the backbone. Then there's always a little slot right here that your knife leaves. Always come in on the meat side and fly back down to the backbone, and then turn your knife and fly it off the backbone and you'll end up with two really nice perch flays. Once you have the side of the flay off, you wanna go after the rib bones first. I'm aiming right at that very first rib bone. I wanna put the skins it on the table as a reference and an angle of which the rib bones are at. I'm gonna go after that very first rib bone. I'm gonna clamp the lever and give it some throb. The key here is to lift up. Make sure that that filet stays on the table and then you've got the rib bones just like that. No waste of meat whatsoever. The next step is to take the skin off. What I wanna do is I wanna lay the skin down and we wanna go head first, head to tail. Lay the skins in flat, clamp it, and then give it throttle. I kinda hold the filet with my fingers back here and I'm gonna aim for that very tip. Stop, lift, and then pull the rest of the filet off. This is a perfect filet. If you notice, the belly meat's all intact. I mean, you just can't get a, a better filet than that. I'm going to go ahead and filet uh, the smaller one that you caught today. <laughs> and you can show the crowd how, how good the uh, skins it does on a fall, smaller perch filet. As you can see, it's a pretty small perch, maybe eight inches, nine inches is best, but we can still get a great flay at it. You go through the same process. On this side, I'm gonna go at the angle, short little burst, turn it over, lay it flat, 
Look at the flay on that small little birch. Yeah, Ted, when you retain that belly meat with the skins it, you actually end up with a really nice filet, even though it was a smaller fish. All right, Ted, now that we're done uh, flaying and skinning and using the skins it, there's one last process that we have to do, and that's cutting these pin bones out. Basically, all you do is the pin bones go from the end of the belly meat here all the way up to the head of the, the fish. So you just cut on each side of it. And that's, that's the pin bone right there. Now yeah. you have a total fillet of fish with absolutely no bones in it. And the walleye's the same way, so we'll just cut on each side. And you just end up with a little strip of bones there. And now you have solid meat. There's absolutely no bones left in that fillet. When you're working as a team together, one person on a fillet knife, the other person on the skins it, you can go through a ton of fish real fast with very little waste. Check it out at fishskinner.com for the skins it. If you want to learn more about the baits we use to catch these fish today, check out venomfloats.com. I want to thank Eric Parks and all the other folks that were on the shoot with us today. This is Ted Takasaki. We'll be right back.